Hi everyone, this is Vanessa with Designs by Vanessa. Today's tutorial is on a chunky cowl or snood. So let's talk about materials. You will need super bulky weight yarn. I am using loops and threads um, kaleidoscope and I got these at Michael's. And this is the beautiful color um, peridot. So I used two of these. My goal was to use up uh, two skeins and you need a tape measure. You'll need a large uh, yarn needle with an eye big enough for super bulky yarn, a pair of scissors, um, stitch markers. I have tutorials on how to make these and you will need um, US 15 knitting needles. Uh, 24 inch cable circular needles and this is the cowl that I'm working on so this is what it looks like it uses bamboo stitches and it's really easy um, you will need to know how to cast on knit and um, cast off and yarn over so grab your materials and let's get started I am going to use the long um, tail cast on method. So you want to cast on 68 stitches. So when you do a slip knot, that's um, considered your first stitch. And then you want to cast on 68 stitches. And that gave me about um, a 23 inch circumference. So cast on 68 stitches. So when you're done, add a stitch marker, careful not to twist your stitches. So I'm already working on um, my cowl here. The first round after you join is knit all stitches. So after you've casted on the 68 stitches, you just knit every stitch all the way around and this is um, uh, the traditional style of knitting um, I will show you continental as well because that's actually how I knit so go ahead and just knit every stitch all the way around so here let me move it to this side um, if you knit continental style this is um, how you would knit your stitches and I do have a video um, that shows how I knit this way if you're interested in my channel but um, you should already know how to knit uh, stitches so go ahead for round one knit all stitches so round two and this is just a um, Two round repeat so I'm knitting the last stitch for round one or what you would be doing round one and now we're going to work on round two which gives the horizontal lines that you see here so again traditional style for round two you want to yarn over and you're just wrapping the yarn or bringing the yarn forward so that there's um, a piece of yarn over the needle and then you just knit two. So if you look here, here's a stitch marker. That's the yarn over stitch. And those are your two knitted stitches. So what you wanna do is grab the yarn over stitch and bring it over the two stitches you just knitted. So there's the horizontal line. Um, that's what gives it this bamboo texture. So that is the repeat all the way around. You yarn over and then you knit two. Again, this is the traditional style. And then now with your left hand needle, grab the yarn over stitch and pull it over the two knitted stitch stitches. Again, yarn over and then you knit two one, two, now grab the yarn over stitch right there 
and pass it over the two knitted stitches. All right, so one more time, yarn over, knit two, there's one and two, and now pass the yarn over stitch over the two knitted stitches. Okay, so now let's do that continental style. So to yarn over this way, you just bring your needle underneath and wrap it. So let's do that again. Just bring it underneath and there's your yarn over. Knit two, grab the yarn over stitch and pull it over, pass it over the two knitted stitches. Again, yarn over, knit two, and then pass the yarn over stitch over the two knitted stitches, and that's it. Yarn over, knit two, whoops, knit two, one, two, and now pass the yarn over stitch over the two knitted stitches. So that's what you repeat for round two, and it creates these horizontal lines, and they look like bamboos. So repeat yarn over, knit two, pass yarn over stitch over the two knitted stitches. So that is your repeat for round two. Go ahead and do that all the way around. Then you just repeat rounds one and two until your piece measures about 11 inches or as tall as you'd like, ending after round one. So I've completed my last round. Make sure you end on round uh, one. So I have this much yarn left and I'm ready to cast off. And um, again, make sure you you stop after round one. So this measures 11 inches approximately for the height. And for the circumference, it's about 13 inches. So that's about 26 around. And um, if you wanted to adjust the circumference, just look at your two stitches because you're casting on even numbers of stitches. Um, so every the if you look at like one stalk of bamboo, they're about for me it's about three quarters of an inch. So just you know adjust by uh, two stitches, and you'll know that it's about three quarters of an inch. And if if you have the same measurement as I do, okay. So let's cast off. So you want to knit two, there's one and two. Now you want to grab the first stitch, knit it stitch, and pass it over the second one. Again, knit one, this time just one, and grab that first stitch and pull it off. Okay, knit another stitch, grab the first one, and pass it over the one you just knitted knit another stitch. So this is the repeat around. You just want to knit an additional stitch and then you'll start casting it off of your needles. So now casting it off continental style, you just knit and pull off the first one. Pass the first one over the just knitted stitch. So not much of a difference. Okay. So knit one and then pass the first stitch over the just knitted stitch. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around. So I'm at the end of the round and I'm casting off my last stitch. And then just pull that loop larger and you can put your needles away. Now grab your yarn needle and your scissors. Cut um, your yarn so that you have a tail to weave it in. And with your large um, yarn needle, weave that through the eye of the needle. 
and then you want to run the yarn back up that loop and then just pull it tight and so to close up this space that you have um, between the first and last stitch you just want to find your first stitch and then run your needles through the top of both loops right there and then you want to go back into that last stitch from the top down and through the back or through the inside so what that does is it creates that um, V shape that you have on top right there so it looks better than having that giant gap so now you just weave in your ends Don't forget to um, weave in your beginning tail. So from your cast on stitches, go ahead and run that through your yarn needle. And then uh, just weave in your ends. Now that you've weaved in all your ends, you're complete. So I really love the texture of the bamboo stitch and it's so easy to remember. You just have two round repeats. Round one is just all knit stitches. Now if you're doing in rows, of course you will purl uh, round one. And then round two will be worked the way I'm showing you here. So. This is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.